Hello my beautiful friends, we will do some collages. We're gonna be using different sort of supplies, scrapbook papers, magazines, book pages. Uh, honestly, it's gonna be whimsical, gorgeous, pretty, unique and special. I hope you Hi. will stay and join me. <laughs> you, can, you can tell everyone what happened today. Um. I played. Hello, 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 my beautiful friends. Wait till you hear the vision for today's project. I'm gonna be using this absolutely amazing looking, gorgeous vintage door and window. And maybe on this window, someone will be standing like this vintage girl, or maybe one of these dolls from Tim Holtz. Maybe she can hold a parrot. That's my vision. We have some inks, we have some stencils for the background, and also look at these amazing, pretty little elements that could be a perfect match. I'm gonna be making the most gorgeous collage because the vision is phenomenal but before that let me quickly say a huge thank you for watching this video it's over 10,000 views on this one it's my recent video if you haven't watched it please do it's uh old Marta, my comeback. Thank you so much for over 200 comments. So many of you have watched it. I'm grateful for the fact that you have been part of this video and thank you so much for your encouragement to keep going. And so many of you have said, Marta, please, we need more of these. We need more of these. Come back to us with more collages, with the chats. So that today's video is exactly about that. I'm just gonna continue the vision of Sorry, the vision of old style Marta, but with a new twist, with trying to combine different techniques, maybe things I haven't used before, but I always wanted it. And if you're wondering, this is the book with the doors and windows. It's uh, doors and openings too. Link will be in the description, of course, if you fancy. Mm, I love this one. Like I, I have such a gorgeous idea for this project. I really hope about that anyway. <laughs> Imagine if she could be, let me just quickly show if she could be standing here if i can cut out and she can just somehow stand there i don't know but i have this vision she could be there and um, how about giving her maybe some wings i don't know i think it's going to be whimsical but also it's going to be like I, I hope some elements happening around the stick not staircase like the look Look at this, uh, around the um, the doors, like maybe something is like ivy sort of thing. Look at this gorgeous vision. Let me just grab more of these. Look at this one, how pretty, something like that. Oh, I think it's gonna be phenomenal. Um, let me grab the book. Another book uh, that is absolutely gorgeousness and has those beautiful elements. I'm not too sure which to choose, so you know what? I'm gonna just grab them both and certainly, well, I wanted to say I certainly won't choose both, but truthfully, I could. Um, again, link to this one will be in the description if you're wondering. It's the cut out and collage book, Vintage Botanical Plants. I love all kinds of books. This one also I love dearly. Uh, there is more flowers. The other one is more like botanical, vintage something, which this one is more flowery. And I love the size of the elements um, of the flowers. So gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Love the books and it's certainly something I keep on buying. Haven't buy anything in the recent um, months, I must say but it's something on the back of my mind to do and check it out what's new actually about the books because I know there are I'm sure there are new books out um, I wanted to say that how about I'm gonna pause the video I will I pause the video not to not not to not talk to you but to grab the better better scissors because the other one were way too big so I have to say um, yeah, it's gonna be boring part when I fussy cut, although I'm quite fast. But I have to say, I do have to stress it that thank you so much for watching my recent video. Your love was so much like it. I was, I was, I'm still ecstatic about it. I'm so happy. You have given me so much support uh, in that video with the comment section that haven't read them yet. I will tonight actually. Uh, but wow, I'm really, I, I don't think I expected you to be this, <laughs> this active. Like even if you want to go back yourself and read the comments like some of them are really poured from the heart about the experience of watching the video 
this for so many years so seriously it's um, it's really amazing to hear from you because this is our this is how we connect this is how I connect with you because you know you watch my videos you listen to my silly chats uh, but to know you better I kind of have to read your comments this is the only sort of way I can find out more about you all and know who's watching the videos and all so honestly uh, you have made my day I'm just thinking guys will I cut this one uh, well I'm gonna cut this piece yeah uh, but will I cut the background or will I leave the background this is quite interesting and I also wanted to say that if you're wondering about this book it's just a regular um, watercolor book I don't think it's anything um, I don't think it's super much professional style book. I'll show which one is that if you're able to find it. I'll see if I can find it as well. It's Mont Marte watercolor book. It's it's only 190, uh, which I prefer 300 if you ask me. So it was not expensive, truthfully. And for my liking, it's definitely not thick enough. Uh, but you know what? I got it. Let's just use it. Use it. Let's just enjoy it. So if you're just joining the video, make sure to watch this one. And I glued down the moon because this is what we have been missing, the moon. And I thought the moon is making it. So there we go. Page number two. And I cannot be more excited than now. So I was thinking to add this one here with the background. Maybe. Let's see. Also, what's here? Do you know what I did? I have... I just checked the camera if I'm recording. In the old times, I would talk so much and get so excited like now that I would sometimes forget to press record and I would just check it randomly am I recording like now so I have to check if I'm recording because you talk you talk you talk and you don't want this to <laughs> vanish because you're not recording so this is something I have been because I've I cleaned one two three four shelves and I just gathered a few of my absolute favorite pieces that soon I would love to use pieces of uh, background uh, uh, I mean pieces of uh, rice papers different scrapbook papers elements that I just loved dearly and I really wish to use so hopefully maybe even tonight we shall see what I'm gonna use it's not something I know 100% but let's see and this could match up I'm gonna put it aside because we can't have everything right you have to make up your mind Marta maybe this is not necessarily for tonight's project this I don't know yet I have a vision of a um, wall kind of thing and I'm thinking it be it would be fantastic if we could have like a brick wall maybe with my um, stencil or something but then I'm thinking do I really need that barrier of I, I somehow have a feeling that I would prefer this to be cut out because then I'm able to I don't have to work around I you know what I'm gonna cut it out because I don't have to um I don't have to try to get rid of that um squarey background and if I will and if I will keep it I'm gonna have to re create the color of the background which which means I'm gonna be restricted and means that trying to match up the color will be difficult could be difficult trying to get rid of that um, barrier that that border of the line could be troublesome so you know what we may as well just cut it out and not think about it and that still doesn't stop us from I'm gonna keep this aside you may need that I'm, this is not stopping us from creating exactly trying to do exactly the same similar uh, well exactly the same and similar doesn't go right but trying to create very similar color background because it is it does match the actual door and all so you know we can still possibly come up it's gonna be probably this kind of color I'm gonna try to recreate um, what's interesting is that this is really beautiful it's it kind of remind me of Spain for some reason and when Emily just saw it a minute ago she said mom this is so pretty it reminds me of Spain I said yes <laughs> same for me oh look at it so you see we're not restricted then to where we place in it 
Oh, this is gonna be divine. I can sense it. I'm not too sure about this girl as yet. Uh, I wish to have a few more things to be used on this project tonight. So like uh, the previous one we've done elements and we match up beautiful composition. Lovely jovely. Tonight I would love for exactly the same but I wish you to see how and why I'm placing and choosing different elements and can we do mixed media around it? Can we do still use watercolors? Can we still use mixed media products like inks and stuff? And I think it I think it's possible and I think it's exactly what I'm going to try to achieve. I'm not going to uh, I'm not sure how long I'm going to stay with you right now because Lucas is putting Hannah to bed and he may be just out in a second. <laughs> we shall see. Mm, but what I wanted to say is that I'm going to be back soon anyway. If not tonight, then tomorrow. But let's see the vision that I had because there was a vision. So we have like, it's not ivy of course, but it's kind of like giving this vibe of growing around this. And I was thinking to put it like this kind of thing. Uh, I love that. I really, really love that. If I'm not going to cut hair, I won't know whether she matches it or not. So that's what I have to do. I really have to cut hair. Her, um, herself and see if the vision of having someone on the balcony is silly or not because maybe maybe it is silly or maybe it's just not her that it's gonna be looking good there and maybe I can look for something else or someone else or maybe animal or I don't know for some reason as well I had a vision of her holding a parrot or parrot standing on her look it's a bit crazy I know but sure I, I I would love for some quirkiness, but at, oops, where's her hand? Oh, there. I would love for some quirkiness, but at the same time, I wish for some real looking quirkiness elements. I don't know if that makes sense. So not that um, fairyland cartoony, but more realistic, but still quirky, something mixture, <laughs> as always. A mixture. I'm trying to see where's her leg, foot going and all. Okay. Let's see. That could be just gorgeous or just total disaster. I love it, actually. What I'm thinking is we need a cutting knife, right? And we need, I'm here, I'm still here just grabbing my elements. I think what I will do is, regardless of what I'm, we're gonna, what's gonna happen, whether it's gonna work or not, I'm gonna try to cut it. And see, <laughs> Emily was laughing she, when I said it to her that that's my vision. She said, "Mom, y y y nobody will see her dress." <laughs> I'm like, well, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, where will I cut it? On it doesn't matter actually. Do you know what? It doesn't matter. It can be a total disaster or it can be so fantastic. Either way, oops. Either way, I'm gonna keep it together and if it's gonna work super if not that's okay too so let's see uh, oh look <laughs> Doo -doo -doo -doo. it's like a paper doll thing I think I know what she says oh nobody's gonna see her dress I don't mind do you know what I really don't mind I think she looks cute there I think the sizing is correct which isn't that obvious and the sizing of her is correct I'm also thinking look at that oh oh wow wouldn't that be just phenomenal this gorgeous rice paper it's fabulous I love it to bits it's gorgeous page seriously if we can combine a little bit of watercolors here as well somehow it would be fantastic I I don't know if this butterfly is not too much. It's also from the same book as the girl. It was the last page I saw it and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna grab it, fussy cut it. It may work, it may be a disaster. It may be just fantastic. So I think until you are actually doing stuff and trying it, you won't know. So I suggest you to just try it out, I guess. And again, since I'm here chit-chatting with you, I really wish to say a huge thank you for those who took time to leave me a comment because this video from three days ago, um, do you know when you look at the statistics it says this video is viewed two times more than 
any other previous video in the past months. That means that you loved it, that means you reacted to it, you liked it, you shared it, you commented, you loved it, enjoyed it and watched it, which is the most important part and hopefully created it with me. But I just really, really, really wanted to say a huge thank you if you took the time to watch it, to share it maybe and to leave me a few words because your words, like so many comments, was such a supportive, um, unbelievable, uh, I wanted to say river, river of feelings, river of love that was just flowing, flying, no, going, <laughs> flow, flowing, flying. Uh, through my through my screen I was just amazed and thank you for that oh that is so cute however it is taking a bit too much from the window I, I think the window is super important here so maybe she could be on the side like that I don't know yet she could be with it, she could be without I think she looks super cute without it as well. I may leave it for now on the side and the side. And also we must decide whether we are loving this or maybe this could be on our opposite end, which is maybe on our bottom part so that we can have a sky there. Do I have any sky anywhere? I'm not too sure what I was saying, where have I finished because I've been fussy cutting and just arranging that and thinking about that parrot parrot. Now in this uh, booklet um, the parrots are too big but then I just looked at these pages in this one. For some reason I'm thinking it would be fantastic if the bird could be on her hand <laughs> however I don't know if it's if it's not too much to ask um, there is no parrot looking that direction in the size of yeah anyway <laughs> I'm thinking to possibly add either this birdie mm, I don't know do you know what the best will be to just cut it out and see if this is completely nonsense or what. Do you know, just now that I thought about something, imagine if this... No, that's too much, Marta. <laughs> if this would be a dress of the girl, the... 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 the um, this one, this birdie. Mm, not Parrot, what's that birdie's name? Um don't know look it's midnight no uh, is it mid it's nearly midnight <laughs> so I certainly will not be finishing this page today definitely tomorrow I'm gonna come back to you so because it's midnight my obviously thinking isn't the most uh, <laughs> the most uh, rock sky rocket so yes no okay on her hand is way too big so then, if it's too big, we can just add some other bird that will actually look good and match the whole feel of this window. So not necessarily on her hand, but maybe just go... <gasps> look at this one. If she could be like this parrot, one second. Because there was another parrot. Oh, there we go. There was another parrot. But she's way too big, that parrot, right? Bigger or the si similar to this one? Could be on both sides because it's double sided paper. But I think it's like, it's, it's, it's too much. Like, I love the color scheme though. And this, like, this one is, it's as well be big, Marta. It is big. Uh, what about this one? This would match lovely with the color, right? But for whatever, like, it is a little bit too me big. I don't know why have I just uh, <laughs> decided that I need a birdie here. I think I found it. Mintai Pet and Animal book. Animal book. I know this is gonna be too big parrot. But she has gorgeous colors. She's going, looking, she's looking in the right direction, sort of. <laughs> I have a vision that it, like, it 
it may match. I moved the dolly because I wanted to see whether they are happy with each other and things like that. So let's have her somewhere like that. Let's see. This is just a vision vision. Everything is in green so I wonder if it's not nearly too much and like the greenery is obviously green. <laughs> the, the door is green. The window is green. And the parrot is gonna be green. But then I somehow wish to really stick to this kind of lovely color scheme and not having this like a, a colorful um, vision, you know? Like I really wish to stick with the vision with some kind of color palette. Does it make sense? And so this has some kind of palette. I haven't been thinking about, about it much. It's just a kind of the door and the window itself have made the palette for me and this was like a starting point so therefore the rest is sort of matchy matchy with it and I think I like it but saying that I may be maybe going for the <laughs> for this one not this one this parrot we'll see because this one is cute <laughs> I never thought I will use parrot in my project because I never thought there will be any need such a such a need and there we go hard to believe but look at it I don't know maybe it's just me but I just feel that it's it's like there it's like it's like matching oh okay it's bigger I get it but it's like I don't know it's it does work from my eye I love it how cohesive it is now I wish for vision for some kind of sky thing before we're gonna think about the sky I'm gonna see if I can have I have a vision again <laughs> my is full of vision today these are paint samples and these are gorgeous and these are matchy matchy with pinks I love the color scheme here and I'm just thinking, wouldn't that be phenomenal if we could just use these as our, as our, imagine that. Now this one, this time I need a bigger scissors. Imagine if we can just have them like really cut out properly and have them as our um, wall I don't know I, again I just can count on my visions that it's gonna be just looking fantastic I have a vision but we'll see this could be a bit too much in terms of um, too much too 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 what too too plain color sort of thing or to to blop of a color that it's maybe not necessarily flattering for the rest I, I don't know I'll see if it's not too plasticish looking probably that's what I'm trying to say because if we do the stenciling this could be lovely because it could be just delicate and all but then don't worry because we may use this idea for another project we can start with this sort of wall of the paint and then go from there and decide about it the, this vision of a wall from the paint I had for a good, good while I have to say it was always actually in the back of my mind because it is such a perfect opportunity to have such a thing let's say in theory let's say in theory completely in theory that we are building some kind of wall now what we could do as well we could I don't know the color match now but we could technically cut it smaller pieces as well and have them more like oh okay <laughs> that's not easy right let's say like this it it is cute it is cute wow it is cute um possibly does not i'm gonna chance it does not look like a full-on 
100% um, wall but we can still maybe do something about it and see no, Marta wall is like this one on top of another and stuff like that so if we mix and match different colors different sort of <coughs> oh I love that actually I'm not too sure if it's matchy matchy the project right now but it does look cute and cool right mm -hmm. it does look lovely the only thing is does it match up the the queen there the idea of the project or will we stick or will we do this like maybe in here because you have to keep going that's that's only I can say you just have to keep trying otherwise nothing will will be worth it because you won't be ever sure you have to try for yourself to see if any of that would be good and make a lovely looking project <clears throat> Now, a few more. I don't know. Maybe this is too much, too heavy. I just do. I I do like it though. It's quirky. It's unique. It's different, and I do love that. And we could have, let's say, I don't know. Just I'm just catching this here. Just we could have a mixture of these. So not only we have like a wall effect, but we have a match now that we can just have them on both sides of the house sort of thing uh, house or whichever it does look lovely I do like it I honestly do like it wow something like this then of course we can or maybe we can just stick to so it's gonna be more of like going on the side like this oh I love that oh oh yes so it's more like yes delicate idea and giving the vibe of being our building for sure it does look as a like it, it does look as building we could have um, yeah I think so I think this will match up lovely Now, there we go. These paint samples you can get, of course, in any hardware store sort of thing. So definitely get them there. And I was lucky that my best friend was painting her house maybe two years ago. And she gathered tons of them and when she was clearing out, she was like, oh, wait, two seconds, maybe Marta need them. Of course she does <laughs> of course I do so she brought me boxes of these which I was so happy to see I opened my arms widely to those samples and I was delighted about them so that's the story that was with my samples look it's gonna change because I'm gonna move it around of course and it will certainly change um, its it's placing but I, I just kind of I, I'm so excited about it <laughs> I don't want to leave it nearly that the building part the creating part now it's so exciting oh and then I had this vision of this flower there on top I love it I think it, it does look cute it does look lovely it really does so possibly what I may do is I'll just grab that rice paper that it's on our background as our background. I'm gonna start with that. Um, once I have my background we're gonna um, probably add the door and window as the next step. There we go. I probably will switch of course the colors and all 
imagine if some of these go there this would be nice the vision is there it's so good to have a vision there we go and even this color it does match because it has this t color of this tealy greenery windows and doors so I love it honestly I think it is so beautiful maybe I'm gonna change the flowers because maybe it's too crowded now I don't know but for sure we are just heading towards some really nice direction that I truly enjoy and I just like that a lot okay uh, oh yeah we have one more one more color there we go and <laughs> oopsie no. Of course, as you can tell, I'm not precise in what I do. I just cut it however it feels right. Possibly there's too many and I would end up with like maybe, um, I don't know, one or two or something less. There we go. Something like that and same for here. Like, like not too, not too much, like... I don't know, I have to say, it doesn't have to be that precisely added either, you know. It can be just a delicate touch. Oh, there we go. Something more like this. There we go. Okay. So imagine if that goes here, this goes here. Something like that. Now, I do believe this may be too much, so I may switch it to the first. No, actually, no. But what I, mm, what about if we swap this with that, so we have our parrot there, and, oh, I love it, and we could have, mm -mm, no, this works because it's taller, and it has this flower there, so technically, you know what? Technically, this can stay and this. There we go. So we may just add, oops, we may just have this one like that kind of thing. Just, just to see. Let's have this one here. Then we may mix and match from what was on the left to the right as well just to see oh i love that just to see if if it's any good oh, or maybe we can have it like that as well and have this one as originally planned and i love it maybe like this so it's tons of this going wow i love it okay i'm tired i see you tomorrow hello 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 my beautiful friends welcome the next day as i promised it's not morning because it's actually 4 pm which means that i may not be able to finish this project today maybe not even upload it uh, for you but i hope to have it soon um i just thought to come for two minutes just to say hello and personally thank you for watching the previous video um you have no idea how much it means because uh, i've been trying to be back and redo my youtube uh, channel um we have it since 10 years and I really wanted to make changes and everything and it's actually quite funny that it turned out that it's me that needed change not you and that you are so appreciative of the fact that the old Marta style of chat and raw and real Marta is back and I'm actually 
happy about that as well. I have to say I'm glad to be back this way. I'm excited as well. Um, it's probably even less work for me to be very honest because it's a different type of scenario work um, and different type of arting which I always loved so very much. So I really hope that uh, upcoming weeks and months will bring you loads of inspiration, will bring you smiles, will bring you gorgeous projects that you will try it for yourself. Most importantly I really hope you will be with me in this journey. Thank you so much for your comments, for your words of support, for the love that was poured out in the comment section. Honestly, that was unbelievable. I haven't felt like this for quite some time. Uh, so if you have anything to add, to say, what videos you would like to see, what way, if there's something you haven't mentioned in the comments before, please do. I'm all ears, I really wish to hear from you because I'm making this content for you, of course. For myself too, of course, absolutely. But uh, most definitely it's you that... Hi. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, Hannah, you can you can tell everyone what happened today. Um, I bought some... Beanie Boos from Daniela, my friend. Yes, because she was selling her collection. Of Beanie Boos. Yes. There was so much that I didn't know how many I wanted. So, how many did we choose? Well, you chose. I allowed you to choose how many? Three. Three. Would you like to show them? That's the this. first one. Are you gonna come back? So yes, yes, there was a little sale happening in our estate. Her friend Daniela came over with her collection of um, mascots. Uh, of course, of course, we had to participate because why not? Uh, it's win-win situation. She is gonna get some extra room in her uh, in her uh, stash. I mean, in her room. Like, I mean, she's gonna just get rid of stuff. She's gonna get extra money for some maybe new toys. And Hannah is delighted to have these new little pets. Yay! So pretty. Which is your favorite? The rainbow. The rainbow one is your favorite? And this one. Mm. Everyone was saying hi to you, Hannah, after the last video that you were here. Saying hi on the desk. We didn't show you, but everyone loved hearing your voice. Uh, Do you like this project? Mm -hmm. It's not glued down yet, so be very careful. Yeah. Love you. You going? Okay. Ah. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So yes, uh, that's our story. Uh, Lucas is at work today helping out. Emily is at the beach with her friends. And Hannah was outside. Now she's on the couch chilling after her lunch. Um, chilling on the couch watching the cartoons. So maybe I'm gonna turn the camera around and just continue with the project because yeah I would love to finish it up. I think it's gorgeousness. I really truly love it. So back to what I was saying. A sip of coffee. Cheers my friends. Do you remember the coffee? Cappuccino with marshmallows and hot chocolate with marshmallows. Oh my yes. Um, I think it was a little bit different back then because I have been I've been pregnant, then I had a baby. It, before that, Emily was already biggish, so it was just a different dynamic. And I think the last years have been challenging on all accounts. And I think, in a way, I'm slowly coming back to where it was and where I used to be and what was making me happy. My next step would be really truly to tackle this uh, wall behind me, finish off the desk, clean up, clear out and all, because I've been. I've been dying to really redo it. At the front here that you don't see right now, it's gorgeous. I love the selection of pens and everything. I'm gonna have videos on that very soon. Um, so yes, uh, I actually love summer for many different reasons, but I also love the time when the kids are back to school, the schedule is there, we have time, we have all the um, hours in hand when they are in school and I can plan which in the summertime of course you can't but either way I love all these times however I'm looking forward to a little bit of winter season because it's calm we we can just have chill time in the at, under the blanket we can have candles and warm and uh, warm tea and I think more crafting as well I think summer doesn't suit the crafting vibe anyway my gorgeous friends I, I better turn the camera around because I'm chatting 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 but I just think it's so nice to to show myself to, in the first place just to say hi as I haven't done this for ages just to let you know that we are well uh, family 
wise um, things aren't that great as you know we've been in Poland and things aren't great they're not good actually they're not at all good but at the same time you just have to move on and just do your absolute best and I think showing up here at my desk in the studio showing up in the camera coming back with the most gorgeous spectacular project it's exactly what I need right now and I think it's exactly what you need as well so I hope you will enjoy the next few minutes with this project uh, so let's turn the camera around to our pirate girl and yes let's enjoy that together proper good morning again hello my friends uh, where do we start it's a little bit confusing right we have those elements from the from these cards do you remember yesterday we have cut all of these elements which are making the gorgeous wall effect I think I'm gonna start with the rice paper uh, to glue this down at first and then the door if you were wondering where to start well let's let's just try it well firstly I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just take a photo just to begin with because uh, it would just make more sense if we can just have a photo and that way we know pretty much our composition right so once we have the photo let's take this all off kind of on the sides where it's supposed to be so this way it's gonna be easier to match it up kind of and same for this one obviously I'm moving around and all and things will just be different and change but at least a little bit let's try to keep it a little bit similar to um, our original idea uh, I always when I'm trying to redo something I always end up with completely different uh, things a lot of times I'm really really <laughs> not uh, following anything what I previously planned and that's okay too at least I have now a little bit of a vision there we go so I'm gonna start with um, adding as it is because I absolutely love what I see right now I'm gonna just start adding as it is my clear gesso on my project and also haven't used <laughs> haven't used clear gesso forever and I also haven't used any brushes for it forever so I can't even find it oh I have some there we go let's have this one so let's see it's roughly here something like that now so I'm gonna just add now um, if you don't have clear gesso that's okay you can use most definitely any glue that you own and it would work clear gesso is something that I love using to adhere my pro uh, my um, elements for the project like the rice paper uh, but it's not this is not a typical thing that clear gesso is designed for however I myself for a long time have discovered the ability that it is actually working like adhesive so awesome but originally it's not for it it's for allowing you to have um, maybe I'm gonna add some more here it's uh, it's priming your surface allowing you to have a work with it and that's it really <laughs> you know on top of the rice paper so it's not really a glue don't think this way um, but I like treating it as a glue like right now so I'm just adding these elements now and then when we have all the elements we're gonna we're gonna decide which direction we're gonna go next will that be um, coloring with the crayons will we add some watercolor paint to it what we're gonna do I have no idea <laughs> but first let's make sure that our mm, rice paper is glued down properly and the rice the um, clear gesso on top as well now for the next elements I won't be using um, clear gesso because it wouldn't be that good it wouldn't stick the paper so for this I will be using just regular glue with the same brush I'm gonna just have a glue I'm trying to basically use what I have I have some regular glue like this so I will really try to make sure that I'm gonna be using it and it's gonna be um, 
just used because I think I stored so many things and I'm purchasing things that I prefer more but instead using what I have uh, I accumulate way too many stuff and I really wish to have just uh, less things basically around my studio you know and that's one of the ways just trying to remember to use the things that uh, I already own maybe just use them different way or whichever okay let's try and let's glue this down this is so cute this is so cute oh I'm gonna leave her actually standing out sticking out <gasps> how cute is that now maybe like this one second maybe I can just move her around oh this is so cute like make sure she's oh, I love it I absolutely love that wow this is so cool this is so beautiful what a lovely <laughs> I hope you don't hear the cartoon right now <laughs> because yeah because I hope you don't <laughs> that wouldn't be the most sensible thing now I'm gonna get some glue here as well and we're gonna start placing the other elements it's like a little bit like a, a Tetris or it's a little bit like if you have the if you have the um, puzzles right it's a little bit like that you have to work with piece by piece and things like that <laughs> probably with the print stick it's just more convenient faster easier and all but as I said use what you have Marta and just try to um, substitute if you can't have everything that you wish now there we go let's see oh I like that looks very nice there we go now I may be moving something but oh this is so cute looking already I must say and wow <laughs> that that is actually nice that is so nice I do you know what I may just have this one like that whoops absolutely so we're gonna grab I think the most difficult part is behind us which was the the big element whoops and the very delicate element the the doors windows and the big flower now that was quite of a trouble one I think which now with these it's easier I guess now let's see if we can have it like that oh super awesome pretty pretty now will we have this one? I don't know. Let's leave it for now. Let's grab this one. Oh, actually, no, Marta. Puzzles first. I mean them things first. Oh, well, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just grab this one and see if I can have this one. Maybe like that. <laughs> one second. Hannah, it's a little bit too loud, please, sweetie. Um, <laughs> it's not too late to fix anything because it was still here I'm just trying to figure it out I can be a little bit quieter and vice versa turn it down because otherwise I won't be able to uh, upload this video you know okay let's start just gluing this down and let's just see because that's the easiest way we just have to start gluing this down and once we have our tiles ready then we can move on because otherwise not possible to figure it out right there we go and then on top of that I will add up the the greenery and glue it down there we go I may move this super awesome so Hannah, it's a little bit too loud, please. Uh, if 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 the if they hear that is cartoon or something, I won't be able to use this footage. So she needs to put it down. <laughs> Hannah, please, a little bit quieter. You have to, Hannah, because I won't be able to upload this video. You know. 
please turn it down yes there we go and which one next maybe oh wow well, we fixed it look it's not too late we 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 really have managed to have this one working in our favor now um i need to stop being so precise about it i guess because that's kind of my way of seeing things being nearly too precise there we go so maybe i could have less of a precision going on we shall see now there we go okay i'm back i'm back because i've been chatting on the phone with lucas for a moment and had to check on hannah as well <laughs> so busy busy today um uh, well, I'm, I don't know where to place this one, to be honest, but let's say if this goes here, maybe we can just have this one more like, um, like this kind, I think so, because then, you know, um, we're not going to cover this beautiful part of the rice paper that it's there now. That is lovely. Now, we have a gorgeous day today, but it's so windy. And I'm talking like really windy. I'm talking dangerously windy that it really moves like bins and stuff. <laughs> so, I um, had to ask Hannah to put some jacket on as well. I'm not called mommy, of course. I'm not called mommy. Of course, she's not called. <laughs> Uh, I love that <laughs> I really do and actually do you know what I need right now <laughs> I sipped my cold coffee mm -hmm. that was lovely no. okay something like here I can't believe it that it is already what one week half past of August three more weeks and school back on unbelievable time just flies isn't it that's so beautiful I love it I honestly love it I'm gonna maybe check this color I wonder if you have used this um, technique of these colors on your project somewhere tell me I I haven't that's my I used it in a different way so that's my first time really but I wonder if you have tried it already this this kind of technique now let's add glue to this all the links to whatever products I'm using if I'm able to find some links I'll give you in the description of course now that is so cute now okay then the bigger one which is this one so we have some bigger foliage there we go oops oops where are you going no. okay oopsie it it ripped but that's okay now maybe like this and if it ripped just glue it back on nobody even notice it so i think <laughs> and maybe like that i don't know hmm hmm i think i think i would still like this to go around it sort of way mm -hmm. as the originally kind of idea now we need a little more extra glue i used to uh, use them kind of products a lot of times as in not so obvious scrapbook stuff um household items do you remember like there was so many videos where I would use like really untypical products 
Oh, I love that gorgeousness. And our parrot as well. Where are you gonna go, Missy? Mm -hmm. So maybe if she's there, maybe we could change that more. I don't know. Like this. Kind. Okay. Look, it doesn't really that much matter because at the end of the day whether it's a bit more more to left or more to right I think it doesn't matter now this she could be a little bit like that and maybe this could be one second <laughs> I'm trying to <laughs> figured it out what's the best option like I mean yeah that will do that will do I love that okay let's see we can have a few of these not too many just a few few of these to see mm -hmm. Something along these lines. My beautiful friends, I fussy cut a few elements. These two lamps and I also have this cage and I was thinking it is actually, okay, it's too small for <laughs> this bird but since it's more of a magical page in a way, I was thinking to still add it. I think it's adding the charm as well. And what I like about it is like, how about we're gonna try to place it like, like this, let's say. And also try to hide that, um, somehow hide that, um, something like that, that it's hanging, oh, maybe something like this, so it's not kind of, I don't know, in the air. And also maybe choose one of these, for example, maybe this one looks cute as our top part of the building sort of thing i do wonder do we miss a little bit of top part i'm not too sure i'm gonna glue these down and then it's time to color i'm trying to figure it out what kind of color coloring we're gonna have and i'm just gonna grab my forever favorite uh, this one is chinese ink and um, for forever favorite ink pens i'm gonna just have a little bit of that color here going there we go this kind of way um as this is like a ground so i'm gonna just kind of make this darker as it goes now i'm going on top of that with no problems because we had used i'm 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 kind of building like this um sort of uh, yeah floor let's say and i have no problems using anything on top because i have gessoed on top of that rice paper already oh i love that now it does look as if we have a little bit of um yes a little bit of um wall kind of going on wall or yeah something like that there we go wall or i don't know either way <laughs> I like that so it's wow so it's like a bottom part different to the top one I think that's what I'm that's what I may do this one is Chinese ink I will try to link you all the products in case you sh wish for the similar one I think I've lost my I wanted to say bark color but no I have it um I think I wish to have this color on top and reason for that is that originally when I cut out the door that was the color there and I think it could look nice if we would try to somehow recreate that vintage vibe this vintage color I may try that I may try that so far I love this look now super wow wow I love the darkness of it I love 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 it I may just try to recreate this color as well. 
I think I found the color. I have this watercolor again. This is just a handmade watercolor. Can't remember the brand. Um, handmade watercolor that I purchased, I think, in some advent calendar. We're talking good few years ago. So I'm just thinking to maybe add up this yellowy tint. Although, I'll be honest, I love as it is even without the yellow tint or whichever. So I'm not too sure. The only thing is that I somehow maybe wish for a little bit of like a chocolatey, chocolatey feel and like vintage touch of the in 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 places like a dirt kind of thing i don't know if that makes sense but let's say that we kind of could have something going on uh, in the in some of the places you know um, this is nearly too dark now so be careful with that Mm-hmm, maybe. Just dilute that with water. Now, because this paper has nothing on top in terms of... Um, just, well, there is just about this paper. Mm. The pigment may go funny ways. I, I I feel that this is a blob of color, which I'm not necessarily happy about. So we shall see. I may just add a touch of that yellow. There we go, in here. So that we have some kind of connection between the elements and whatnot there we go and especially that our our sorry if I make no sense right now but I'm trying to think and talk at the same time which sometimes does not go well together so basically this yellow that is here on the jar on the actual um, rice paper I think it is making uh, appearance lovely and it would be nice to possibly have this as well going on here so this way we sort of bring in the whole design together and because we have a, um, our book it's watercolor I can easily just have things happening here with the watercolor on top and just work it work it work it and I actu actually like that a lot so in between the grooves the lines I just wonder if we're recording but we are and even more no wow I think I think I wish to go back and have this even more of um, even darker, even more of the um, feel that this is a flooring part or that it's that it's divided. There we go. Mm -hmm. Even more. I love that. I will add as well a little bit darker here. Mm -hmm. Even like it's not even here, but that's okay. Maybe I'll add it there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Super. Love that. Now, how about having a little bit of shadow in here? Oh, I love this. I still wish to get rid of that. I'm not too sure of yet how. Maybe I'm going to just grab, I have this white watercolor, if I can just scoop some color, just have this tiny, there we go, exactly, just blend in a little bit because it was just perfect, oh there you go, 
I just needed that touch of it was just too bloppy like I don't know for sometimes it just did the things they just don't go I think I think I could be wrong but I think we could may have we could may have this could be nice maybe if we do a touch of that darker in between I don't know I just feel it could be something how about if I just turn this around just a tiny bit just to see what's going on here I don't know guys if this is oops you could murder think faster come on okay it wasn't working so I just added that white <laughs> that's okay that creamy um, creamy white I think what would possibly help exactly it would be the the fact that the whole project is soaking a bit wet rather than dry basically so this could help I just feel that I wish for some coloring in between so it's like in the grooves but I don't know it's like kind of making it more rough and dirty and natural and realistic looking I guess and I think we just achieved that and I I do love it wow and what a rescue that was here with the white paint interesting <laughs> now oops I just splashed everywhere if we just grab just checking Hannah is outside I heard the kids Oh, umbrella is out. The sun is out, but umbrella is out <laughs> as well. Uh, I'm gonna grab that white because that was quite, quite of an invention, a invention, quite of an interesting, you know, touch of, and I like that because I think it looks a little bit more like, um, like a chalky paint. Think that, you know, when you when you do paint and you have the What's that saying? That makes no sense what, what I'm saying. Um, in between grooves, this this white thing, this white thing thing. <laughs> you know what I mean. So, there we go. Wow, I love that. What a mixture. How interesting. Wow. Now, the same. I'm gonna add it a little bit here, that kind of, but also I'm gonna grab that white, look, that white is making this pretty interesting color, it's like a stone effect, yes, stone effect and also like um, something with the grooves, uh, white, white now, yeah, but stone effect, I like that indeed wow this is quite quite a special indeed wow I love it I will get rid of this one as well tiny bit and I'm thinking we need exactly the same story going on here in between the grooves and all and make this all kind of dirty in there and maybe some white as well and hopefully a bit of yellow too there we go a nice mixture wow hmm <laughs> wow there we go I am in my favorite t-shirt. I already sprinkled it <laughs> with some oil, which isn't washable a lot of times. Um, and now I'm, I'm feeling I'm gonna sprinkle it with my paint here. <laughs> Have a feeling of that. Wow, this is gorgeous. Let's dry that. And once I, st once it's dry, I still feel we can add even more of that darkness there. Dry it, and once it's dry, we're gonna do last touches of doodles and that's it and we're gonna be done I think we're gonna be 
done there. The only thing is that how interesting is to add that bluey dark color there. That is nice. in some moments, some elements <laughs> a lot of it it's a hit and miss I think it's it's like a feeling or no feeling and I think it's just kind of sometimes what I do it's, it's the feeling that I get add there, add there you know, that kind of way so sometimes even dirty water is just as amazing as you know as the paint and just add it here, add it there now, like here, imagine oh wow another just gorgeousness work love this so much I'm not even gonna this is just right, I'm not gonna even dilute anything it's just wow wow Okay, let's try that. I was thinking that uh, a title would be fantastic. Wonder and get lost. And that's kind of what I'm thinking. Wonder and get lost when it comes to uh, looking for answers for your project. Try it out. Wonder, I think. <laughs> and yes, something else. Um, what else? Well, all of them I absolutely love. I think I love Wonder and Get Lost one canvas at a time. I think I love this one a lot. So I may just grab this one one canvas at a time. There we go. <laughs> Excuse me, and this time I'm not gonna cut this out from the video. The last months I would pause the video and get rid of that sneeze <gasps> this time no <laughs> okay and my favorite pilot GTEC let's start I think I'm gonna start in the most uh, the, um, important part for me when it comes to doodles it's gonna be this one which is my brick wall because I think I really wish to differentiate the colors and the the fact that the brick wall is there and I think, sorry for my phone, but uh, I need to have it on in case my Emily is ringing me to pick her up from beach or something, so I, I have to be on let me just check it out oh, she said she they get in the car, she's coming back with her friends so uh, I have to be I have to have it on, sorry, this time because Lucas is not around. Um, and also for Lucas, it would be good to be, you know, available just in case. So I'm starting with... I hope you don't mind, I hope you understand. I know you do understand that. Uh, so I'm thinking the brick wall to be as the most important. And also I wish to say that I'm not super precise here. I'm just doodling a little bit here, a little bit there just in few places and that's it do you know how awesome and freeing it is that the, the knowledge that I know how much you like the old style videos I really thought that you sick of me and tired and that you just because the videos weren't click the people don't, didn't click and watch them recent months and I was like that's why I was looking for different directions and now I think the problem as well was that maybe you didn't see the videos so I suggest you to not miss the new upcoming videos please leave some simple basic comment here that you liked it, didn't like it or whichever uh, because it may help you to be notified about the other videos that are coming and also in case uh, in case uh, YouTube thought that you don't like my videos anymore if you leave some comment it will just tell the YouTube hey hey I like her she's uh, someone I do watch regularly please so you know sometimes checking if you have your notification on if you have the bell on and stuff uh, I wonder are we gonna add some sparkles our forever sparkles, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> uh, 
uh, not sparkles. Yeah, sprinkles. No, splashes, not sparkles. Splashes. I, I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. We're gonna add some splashes. I started already and I'm using this other ink tens. Oopsie. Other ink tens that. Oh, there we go. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, little splashy splash. Uh, just a few in a few places, nothing too much, nothing. But I think it'd be just lovely to finish it up with some splashes indeed. There we go. I don't know, should we go for the white splashes as well? <sighs> maybe, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I either use this one or this one, I think this one will be easier. If I can open it. Oh, it worked. I can't believe it that this video is nearly over because wow it's quite a project I must say it's quite quite a project um, loads of interesting vibes in this one oh I like I like the white but I don't want to overdo it um more like a, like a touch really you know like I don't know I don't want this to feel like it's winterland, if you know what I mean, so I think that's kind of it. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I love this so much. It is such a full-on project. I really hope you like it. My only thing is that I wish to read your mind. Will we add this little... I like it actually. I think she's look she's looking more, more whimsical or if not this maybe this or no. Do you know what I think? I honestly think it would be just lovely if I can find a glue. <laughs> Where's the glue, Marta? Hello. Well, let's grab this one. Um, I can't find the glue. So I'm going to just have a touch of glue here. Oops, I just nearly poured the stuff from this bottle <laughs> and I'm just gonna add it to her. I think it's just lovely. There we go. I think it matches because it's tiny, it's delicate and it is just a little whimsical and I think it, it just looks gorgeousness. My beautiful friends, I really hope you liked it and enjoyed this project. I cannot wait to hear your thoughts on this one. Let me know in the comments how you feel about it and in general if you enjoyed this another chit chatty video. Happy collaging my darling friends and I'll speak to you very very soon. I promise to be back. Uh, till the next time, happy crafting and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now. Bye bye. I just forgot I can say personally the boys in the camera here is the gorgeousness project oh, I love it I absolutely love this one uh, super pretty super pretty project I really hope you liked it and enjoyed it as much as I have mm, yeah so happy crafting my beautiful friends and I'll chat to you very very soon <laughs> bye bye bye